Hey guys, my name is Terrasol and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom modded map for Trailmakers using a mod called Trail Edit as well as a program called Trail Mappers. So first I'm going to show you how to use Trail Edit to make a custom modded map. So first you want to go ahead and launch Trailmakers and then go ahead and head to the workshop area and then to the mod category and then you want to get Trail Edit. I'll also provide an offline version of Trail Edit, which you can then copy to the mod folder. And this can make it easier for get to the save after you created the map. So once you've loaded in to single player, you'll go ahead and press Escape, Session Options, Activate Mods, and then you want to go down and enable the Trail Edit test branch. So if we go down here, We find our test branch. So I'm using the non workshop version right now, which is this one here. Let's go ahead and move this. You can move this by pressing F4, which then gives you control of the cursor. You can just drag this window. I prefer to have it in this top corner. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and create a new trail edit save. To do this you want to put a name of your save in here so we'll call this um, testing map video and then you want to go ahead and click save as this will then save this map so once you've done that you want to head to the next tab by pressing this button up here and this takes us to the spawning tab where you can spawn a variety of objects into trail makers so you have 32 objects currently to choose from in trail edit and these are all sorts of variety of objects from trees to bushes to rocks to all sorts of things. So if we go ahead and press here, this will actually spawn a rock called a spiky canyon. Now currently it spawned the rock at our position here, however we can't do anything with it. So how do we do something with it? Well what you want to do is you want to press this tab here and click select new. This will select a, the nearest nearby object to the player. From here, we can give it a unique name, so in this text box here. And we can also change its position, its rotation and its scale. So to do this, you can either do it by keybinds. So that would be the arrow keys. So currently we're in position mode. So by pressing the arrow keys, it's actually moving the object around. If you press this again, it's now in scale mode, so if I press up arrow, it's increasing the scale. Down arrow, it's decreasing the scale. This happens um, uniformly for the object, so you can, for example, scale the left higher than the right. Um, that's only possible with trail mappers. So, um, we'll do it with rotation, which is also doing the same. If we hold Alt, it'll rotate the Y axis. If we hold Alt while pressing position, um, well, in position mode and pressing arrow key, then it will uh, move in a lower increment. So that's that in terms of the properties of the object. We also have the toggle static. So most objects in the game are static by default. However, there is some objects such as a barrel, which is not static by default. However, by setting toggling to static to true, it means that the barrel will not fall when it's spawned. You also have visible, which is pretty self-explanatory, and can collide, which means that a player's vehicle, if set to false, it means that a player's vehicle can pass through that object. However, set to true, it means that the object is collidable. And then we have delete, um, which is delete, duplicate, which creates a copy of the object, face me, which rotates the object to face the player, and flip selection which will flip the axis, current axis for the object. So that's that in terms of the options for selecting a object. So next if you click through you could end up at keybinds area and this is if you wanted to find keybinds. So when I'm creating a map using Trail Edit, I generally use the keybinds rather than manually typing things in, as it's generally a lot quicker. 
as it's generally a lot quicker. However, you can edit these keybinds to make them whatever keys you want them to do. You can also disable them. So if we press here, if we press the option at the top, you'll end up at settings. So this can be the increments of, so if you're positioning an object and pressing alt, then um, that would be the detail increment. So um, that means how much it moves, for example. Map info. So from this screen, um, if you click edit spawn, enable custom spawn, put spawn at player, this will create a spawn point for the map at the current player's position. You can then choose whether you want it to only apply when a person joins the server for the first time, or if you want it to apply also when they respawn. Once you've done this, go ahead and click done. And we'll show that later. Um, so when you're on the spawn area menu, there's also advanced options in here. So you can set the defaults for every object you spawn such as general options, so if the object will be um, by default visible, um, what scale it is, you can also set an offset here, so depending on, it'll create a random scale every time you spawn an object, random collision, random array spawning, so this, you give this um, details in here and it'll spawn a variety of them objects within the provided um, coordinates. Rotation, it's the same, position defaults, um, that's pretty much that area. So once you've, once you've created the save to um, create, turn it into a mod, you wanna go ahead and click create loader. This will be the name of the mod on the workshop, for example, when you upload it. So we'll call this test map mod, okay? Click create and then you want to go into the test map mod loader and we'll load it our we'll say that this mod should include the file of test map mod for video and then go ahead and click close so what that's done is it's created a mod and um, with that map file in it so when that mod's loaded it'll load the map Head on over to Data Dynamic. So we load on here and Data Dynamic. And then you want to go to Loaders and the name of our loader, which we've just saved, which is a test map mob, which is this one. So in here, as you can see, it's got the lower file for the mod and then we save for the mod. So we'll go ahead and copy this. And then you want to go to your main mods folder for Trailmakers. Go ahead and paste the loader into here, which I've done here. And then when you're in game, you go ahead and disable trail edit. And then your latest mod should be at the bottom of your list, which is test map mod. And then, for example, we load it up here and we then press this button here. And there we go. It's loaded that rock, which was saved within trail edit within a map file. So. If you had loads of objects, then they'd all load when you press that button. So that's pretty much the basics of Trail Edit. If you want to then upload your mod to the workshop, you would then go to Session Options, Upload Mod. You type in the mods directory, which would be mods forward slash your mod name. Then you type your actual name, what you're calling your mod on the workshop. And the, if you want to put a description, you can put a description here. And then go ahead and press Upload. And then anyone who subscribes to the mod will be able to activate the mod by going to session options and then going ahead and taking the mod here and that would enable the mod. So that's it pretty much for trail edit. So the second way of creating a custom map for trail makers is using the external program called trail mappers. This can be found by going on the steam store and searching for trail mappers. Currently it's in the playtest so you may have to request access to in order to use this program. So once you have access and you have downloaded the Trail Mappers, you want to go ahead and launch this program. So once Trail Mappers is loaded, you can then go ahead and create a map. So to create a map, you want to go ahead and click Create Map. Give the map a name, so we'll call this uh, Terrasol, for example. Go ahead and click Create Map. So from here, 
you have a list of objects which you can spawn in. So to spawn in, you simply just drag the object into the scene, like so. You can then drag the handles here to position it about, or you can use the arrow keys similar to trail edit. If you press here, you can input the position manually, rotation manually, or scale manually, as well as the visible and glidable properties. If you go to here and press here, you can scale per axis, which isn't possible using Trail Edit. So as you can see, we can stretch the shape. However, in certain cases, this will break the hitbox of the shape in which you've spawned. You can also rotate, so just like this. So once you've spawned something, so we'll go ahead and spawn a rock here. So let's say we want this rock here. So once you're happy with what you've got, you want to go ahead and click save and then go ahead and press the button called export. So what this has done is this has created a mod with this map file in the mods folder for Trailmakers. So when you load go back into the game in Trailmakers, and then go to session options, you should have your mod here, which is here it is called Terrasol. So if we go ahead and click this, it should then load our rock which we've created using trail mappers. So that's pretty much it in terms of trail mappers on how to create a custom modded map, as well as how to create a map with trail edit. Thanks guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.